In the midst of the worst fire season in state history, unthinkable news. Investigators now believe the Carpenter Road fire, which has destroyed 18 Stevens County homes and cost millions of dollars to suppress, was intentionally set. KXY4's Aaron Luna visited the location where officials say that fire started. He joins us tonight in the studio with more. Aaron. And Nadine, early on, fire officials believed lightning was to blame for the Carpenter Road fire. And that fire contributing to the death of one man who suffered a medical emergency. This morning, investigators are calling the fire arson. 18 families lost their homes in the Carpenter Road fire, with many more structures burned to the ground. Mark Butcher evacuated early on. He was one of the lucky ones. His home survived. It was surprising. It really was because we stood at the end of Carpenter Road and we could see it just bright flames all throughout here. The fire started August 13th. Butcher says he remembers standing outside that day. And I saw the lightning strike and felt it make my hair stand up on end. Pretty sure it started by lightning strike. Fire officials also believe the fire was lightning caused, but now they are calling it arson. We have determined that it is arson caused. It's not lightning caused. We know exactly the origin site. Officials say they don't have any suspects at the moment. And while they know where it started, they don't know the method. They have a few clues, but not very many. A month later, and the fire is nearly 100% contained. Fire crews will slowly demobilize with a small contingent left to watch the fire lines and check hot spots. We'll just kind of monitor it and let the interior stuff continue to smolder and burn and uh, harmlessly go out in the season ending rain event, possibly in middle of October. Even though the firefight is winding down, the investigation into its cause is just ramping up. Investigators asking the public to share any information they may have. As for Butcher, lightning or arson, he credits one thing for saving his home. The most important thing, I think, is to make sure you have your green zone. Fire officials are asking anyone with information to call the We Tips Arson Hotline, that number 1-800-47-ARSON. Once again, 1-800-47-ARSON. You can remain anonymous. There is a $10,000 reward for any information that leads to an arrest and conviction.